Hello, Mr. Silo. Hello. How are you today? Good, good. Yeah. My name is Brian. I'm a registered nurse here at Rosemary University of Health Sciences, and I'll be taking care of you today. Okay. Sounds good. Excellent. Uh, can I start by getting your full name and date of birth? Morgan Sulo, May 2nd, 1980. Excellent. Um, and may I call you Mr. Sulo? Yes. Okay. Excellent. Um, can you tell me on a scale of 0 to 10, 0 being no pain and 10 being the worst, are you having any pain today? Uh, no. No. Excellent. Uh, what I'm going to be doing here, I'm going to start by providing for privacy. So we're here alone in the room. I'm going to be doing a physical assessment on you today, which means I'm going to do basically head to toe look at all your body systems. I'm going to be using a stethoscope to listen to your heart, lung sounds, and your abdominal sounds. I'm going to be placing my hands on your body, feeling for pulses and touching the warmth of your skin. I'm going to shine a light in your eyes to check your pupils. It takes vital signs, your blood pressure, heart rate, respiratory rates, and things like that. Um, I'm going to ask you to do a few things for me. I'm assessing your neuromuscular status. Okay. Do so you have any questions for me? No. Okay. I'm going to start by raising the bed up a little bit here to a comfortable height for me. So what I've noticed at this point is that the patient is has a relaxed facial expression. It doesn't appear to be tense. He is laying supine in bed. His arms are relaxed comfortably at his side. He is alert and awake. His speech is articulate. He is appropriately answering my questions. He can hear me at a normal conversational tone of voice. His skin color in the upper extremities and face is evenly distributed. It appears to be sort of a fairly moderate tan color. He does appear to be well hydrated and his body fat distribution appears to be even at this point. Uh, his personal hygiene, I don't smell any malodorous scents. He is dressed appropriately for the situation and does appear to be well groomed. All right, so Mr. Sulo, I'm going to start by taking your vital signs here. So your temperature, I'm going to stick this under your tongue as you say ah, ah, under your tongue. Just, just relax your lips around that. Beeps. Ninety-eight point four, which is good. Can I see one of your fingers on your hand here? This is a pulse ox. It measures the down the amount of oxygen in your bloodstream. Okay, you are at ninety-eight percent, which is perfectly expected. Next, I'm going to take your blood pressure here. Pressure is 104 over 80. Your pressure. You have any problems with your blood pressure? No. No.
is able to go from a sitting uh, or laying to a sitting position without assistance. All right. I'm going to first start here at your head. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check your, your pupil reaction to light. So I'm just going to have you focus on the spot there right on the ball. I'm going to shine this light in each eye a couple times. Smile for me. Can you frown? <laughs> Can you puff your cheeks out like this and hold it? <laughs> okay, excellent. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I don't see any facial drooping. Um, based on that assessment there, cranial nerves three, four, six, and seven are intact. Um, patient's verbal response again is appropriate to my conversation. I'm going to ask you a couple of questions here. Uh, can you tell me your name once again? And do you know what year it is? Uh, 2015. And do you know where you're at? Roseman uh, University Health, Health Sciences. Okay, excellent. The patient is um, oriented times three to person, place, and time. Uh, next thing I'm going to have you do is go ahead. I'm going to have you squeeze my fingers. Okay, excellent. And then hold your hands like this for me. And again, resist my trying to pull. Okay. And let's put our palms together like this. Okay, excellent, very good. I'm just gonna touch your skin here, kind of feel warm and dry. Uh, patient has bilateral muscle strength in the upper extremities is equal. Okay. I'm just gonna pinch your fingernails here a little bit. I'm testing for what's called capillary refill means the blood returns. I can push the blood out and blood returns within a couple of seconds, which is what is an expected finding. Excellent. Okay. And I'm going to feel both pulses here at the same time since I'm in this part of the body. Excellent. Okay. Um, go ahead and keep your eyes on me. Can you feel me touching you here? Yes. Can you feel me touching you? Come down here to your legs here. The same thing here. See no pretibial edema, no pedal edema. You're going to feel your pulses down here. This is your 
posterior tibial pulses. And failure pulses here are the dorsalis penis pulses. Excellent. I'm going to do the same thing I did on your hands here. I'm just going to squeeze your toes a little bit. I'm looking for capillary refill. And capillary refill is within two seconds on the lower extremities as well as the upper. Can you push down like gas pedals? Good. And now try to push, point your feet upward. Excellent. Thank you. Try to extend your knees. Good. Now straighten them out a little bit and try to bend them. Okay. Very good. All right. So um, lower extremity um, muscle strength is equal to the examiners bilaterally. No, oh, one more thing. I'm down here. Good. Look at me. Can you feel me touching yes. in here? Can you feel me touching in here? Yes. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Sensation is intact, both upper and lower extremities. And skin is warm and dry. And there is no pedal or pretibial edema. Just wash my hands here a little bit. Excellent. So I'm going to grab a stethoscope here. I'm going to listen to your heart and lungs. Uh, first thing I notice is that um, respirations are smooth, even, and non-labored. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my stethoscope. I'm just going to be listening to your breath sounds. So I'm going to place my stethoscope into various areas across the front of your chest, and I'll walk around to the back side and listen to the back as well. Uh, so just take nice, easy breaths when I ask you to. Okay, no problem. I'm going to lower your gown down just a little bit here. Take a deep breath. Right there, I'm going to come around to the back side here. Okay. Take a deep breath. Particular breath sounds were heard throughout all lobes, anteriorly and posteriorly, which is an expected finding. Uh, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to listen to your heart beat. So um, as I go through the different areas in the heart, there's going to be uh, one spot where I'm going to stay there for a whole minute. Doesn't mean that I'm hearing anything abnormal. I'm just um, taking your heart rate for a whole minute. Okay. So again, drop your gown down just a little bit here. This is the aortic area, so the second intercostal space, right sternal border. This is the pulmonic area, second intercostal space, left sternal border. I'm going to come down here to the tricuspid area, so that of the fourth intercostal space, left sternal border. Good. And then for this last one, I'm going to have you just put your arm here, please. It's going to come up underneath here. Fifth intercostal space and clavicular line. Just go ahead and relax yourself. This is the one I'm going to stay here.
S1, S2 sounds are auscultated throughout all areas. The pulse deficit would be the apical pulse rate minus the radial palpated pulse rate, which in this case is zero. Mr. Sulo here, expected finding. Rhythm was regular. Um, not only were sounds auscultated, but the rhythm was regular in all areas. Okay. All right, Mr. Shula, next thing I'm going to have you do, I'm going to lower the bed all the way down. We're just going to go ahead and walk right over to the scale here. It's going to get your weight really quick. Okay. So go ahead and stand up for me, please. Excellent. patient's gait is smooth and coordinated. He's able to change positions from the sitting to the standing without assistance. And he was able to walk a distance of 10 feet uh, to and from the scale. All right, so I'm going to have you go ahead and lay yourself back down. Swing your feet up, please. Just make yourself comfortable here. Raise the bed all the way up. The last part I'm going to do is listen to your abdominal sounds, your bowel sounds. When was the last time you had a bowel movement? Was, when was the last time you urinated? So I'm going to go ahead and lay you all the way down, flat. Yeah, just relax your hands at your side here. Abdomen is flat with no pulsations or masses noted. I'm just going to listen to the sounds here. Sounds are present in all four quadrants. Just expect to find it. So, okay, I think that about wraps up our assessment here today. I'm going to lower the bed all the way down to its lowest position. Side rails are up, brakes are locked. Put your head back up a little bit for you, make you comfortable. Your call light is right here on the side of the bed. Please call me. Assistance with anything. The hand hygiene again. All right, thank you very much for your cooperation. Thank you. And uh, again, if you need anything, please press the call light. And do you have any questions for me at all? No. Okay. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you.